podcast is going to go over how we can move files around in our environment. Uh, there are basically two different times we're going to need to move files around. Uh, one time is if we need to get files to CNT serve for submission. There's some things that make you do where I say put the put put the output of this uh, series of commands in a file and then put that file in home exercises somewhere uh, for me to review. And another time we'll need to move files around is if we need to get something to our server uh, from the internet. Uh, and while I would like to think that everybody's a, a pro at using SCP to move files around by now, there are a few uh, tricky things. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through quickly uh, how we should be moving files around in our environment. First off, I have a file in slash temp called baseline. I actually have several baseline files. But we're going to use the baseline file as the file we want to copy, uh, and we're going to want to copy that to CNT serve. So first off, the most reliable and easiest way to make this work is to log into CNT serve first and then pull the file from there. So we'll use SCP and copy the file I want. It's on my server, and it's called base slash temp. That's the name of the file uh, on my server, and I want to basically put it in my current directory. Uh, and if I do this, once I get it to the CNT serve, then I'll have to copy it to where it needs to go. I could do that in one command by putting, you know, home exercises module, you know, whatever. I know what module this is going to be for, module 8, and then whatever I wanted the file name to be. <clears throat> but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to copy it to my current directory. And then once it gets up here, then I'll move it to wherever I need it to be with whatever name I need it to, needed to have. So I got the file. That's the easiest, most reliable way to do it. Uh, and that's the way I recommend you proceed. Um, I, I'm sure many of you are like, hey, Rich, I, I tried this command on my server. And this, this command, it didn't work. And I want to know why. And this command should have worked. Like, hey, Rich, I tried this command, and it didn't work. And yes, that command should have worked. And the reason it didn't work is because the DNS uh, for CNT serve will give us two uh, IPs back. It will give us the public IP address we need to connect to from the outside uh, when we're on the Internet at home. And uh, if we are inside of our college network, it will give us, give us the private IP address that we can connect to CNT serve from within the college network. But we have a third network. Uh, we have this private network we're on, the rich net I like to call it, and that's the IP address of CNT serve we need to use if we're trying to copy in this manner. Unfortunately, I haven't came up, come up with a good way uh, to trick DNS into giving you that IP address yet. It's probably something I can figure out pretty easily. But if you want to copy in this manner, you need to put CNT serve's private IP address which would be 240.103. And if you do that, it will work. Some issues with that, uh, if you are have been using keys all along and don't remember your password for CNT service, it's going to ask you for your password. You could set up your private key on your server so that you could connect to CNT server. That's a lot of effort uh, just to be able to do that. I would recommend you simply just pull the file from CNT serve. Um, so that is the uh, problem with that method. So let's say maybe <clears throat> you went to try to SCP from CNT serve, but when you try to connect, you didn't have your keys set up on CNT serve and it wouldn't let you log in with a password. Well, the, the quickest thing to do would probably be set your keys up on CNT serve. But if you didn't want to do that, another method you could use is you, from your virtual machine, if you notice, I logged out of my server, I'm back to my Mint VM. This works for the Windows method as well if you're using the MOBA X term. You can secure copy the file um, from your server. You basically do like a, a two copy method. You copy it from your server to your virtual machine and then you could copy it from your virtual machine to CNT serve. 
which I don't know if this is going to work by name either because uh, because I don't know what DNS we're going to get for CNT serve with this method. So we might need to do the same thing. Nope. Cool. We get the right DNS for that. All right. So that was two different ways. <clears throat> I copied the file. I secure copied it. Three different ways actually. First, I copied it from CNT serve. I ran the command on CNT serve and pulled the, the file up. Second, I was on my server and I copied it up using the IP address of CNT serve. Right. Directly from my server up. And then finally, I did a two copy method where I copied it from the VM, uh, the, the local VM, uh, Mint. I copied it from, from my server to Mint and then copied it from Mint up to CNT serve. And that basically, as I said before, gets it to your home directory on CNT serve. And then you'll need to use move or copy to copy it to the location where I want it for the final submission. So that's that. The other thing we want to do is sometimes we might need to get files up to our server. Like in this case, I have uh, some sample files for DNS for the project we're going to do later on. So if you say if you download that and save it, it's going to save locally into downloads, I assume. Uh, yeah, named-config.tgz. So we need to get that file up to our server, and basically simple SCP command that we should be super awesome at using by now. 